All right, so I'm back in the STI just to kind of show real quick how the VDC works. So down here, you got your SI drive or your vehicle dynamic control, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing, like I said. You got your sport mode, which is what we're in right now. And then you've got your sport sharp, which is that more race oriented feel. And then you've got your intelligent mode, which is like the eco friendly. So like I said, you guys, it doesn't necessarily change your throttle mapping. It just changes the percentage of throttle that you have available to you at that time. So right now we're in intelligent mode. I'm gonna go ahead and push it back into sport sharp and show you guys the differences real quick. So this will be sport sharp. This will be our sport mode. And then you push down and that gives you intelligent mode. But you can see the three different mappings right there of how much throttle we have available to us. All right, so I have it in sport sharp mode now, and this is, like I said, kind of the more race-oriented feel where you hit boost a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna do a quick little launch to see if I can hit it here and just kind of let you guys know what I feel. All right, so like I said, that was sport sharp, and I don't know if you can tell on video, but I kind of got pushed into my seat a little bit. It was it was a like direct hit of power. It was real cool. It was, wow. I feel like I've been in a decent amount of boosted cars, and none of them have ever been as fun as a WRX or an STI. And I can't explain why. They're just they're just such engaging, fun cars to drive, and putting it in sport sharp mode made it even more fun. You also have that intelligent mode too, which like I said, is more of your eco-friendly mode. It doesn't really do too, too much. You actually hit lower boost because of that. And that's how you end up saving gas. Um, so I'm not gonna do anything with that, but I will really quickly go over the DCCB one more time because we're in an actual STI. And then if I go over here, like I said, we have the auto plus and the auto minus setting. So right now, so right now it's an auto plus. If I hit manual, now we're in the manual setting, but we're not gonna mess with that at all. So I'm gonna put it back into auto. And then you have these two dials right here where you can do auto up and then it'll go up or you can do auto down and now we're back down. So that's our rear wheel bias and then up one more time will be our front wheel bias. But that just about sums up the DCCD and the VDC as a whole. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed the video. I know it was a mixture of a couple things in there and I'm sorry, but if you guys like more of those Forza demonstrations, I can definitely do more of those. And if not, then I won't. But hope you guys enjoyed. I always do. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see y'all soon.